it's Sam and today I have another video up on the Lawn Fawn blog. Today I am using Big Acorn, Let's Go Nuts, Wood Green Backdrops, the Puffy Clouds, the Center Picture Window Die Set, and I actually don't use any of the add-ons that I showed there, but I wasn't sure at the time. As usual, I had a loose plan of what I was going to do, but not a specific plan. <laughs> I am starting by stamping all of my images. Um, spoiler alert, I actually don't end up using those two big acorns. I thought I was going to and I had planned to, but when it came time to finally put the card together, it just I didn't it just didn't work for me. <laughs> I do use the small leaf from that stamp set though. And um I am going to show you how I color those acorns. <laughs> even though they don't end up on the card. But that's okay. I will save those images for um, another card and another project. And um, just stamping all my images here, it looks like I'm stamping about a thousand leaves, but I end up wishing I had stamped and colored more. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> As usual, I'm going to color my images with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I start by spritzing some water on my craft mat and getting my empty water brush uh, wet with the water <laughs> and then I um, set it aside and start coloring. I usually use my middle color to um, start coloring the whole thing as in uh, for instance this acorn. <laughs> I use the middle brown and then uh, drew out all the color with a damp water brush and then went over it with the middle brown, the dark brown, middle brown again and then a light brown. Um, and then of course, pink cheeks, because pink cheeks. <laughs> and I decided I was gonna color these uh, acorn tops in pinks and reds. And I'm not doing any shading in these little squares, just coloring them all in and making sure the same color doesn't touch other colors. And I really like the pinks and the reds for these acorns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and then I colored these small acorns, very small shading. Uh, the middle color, same as the big ones, tiny little bit of dark, back to the middle, back to the light, and then pink tops on those acorns. I couldn't resist. It's not like a bright pink, so it's not like super uh, in your face. Um, I decided I was going to make this scene um, a fall scene, so I knew I was going to color the tops of the trees. Uh, reds and oranges and corals and so I wanted the leaves of my images to reflect that so I'm coloring them in different shades of oranges and yellows and reds. Um, again, super simple coloring. <laughs> for the uh, yellow leaves I did do um, a medium brown for the shading and then yellow on top of it and I pulled the whole thing out with my water brush, my very damp water brush and um, I like doing that with yellows because it helps add shading with yellow. <laughs> I do something similar with all my reds. I usually do a dark red, I mean a dark brown, and then my red, and then a little orangey red, um, because otherwise I get a pink red, and I wanted a red red for this card. Also, <laughs> you don't need to run to your windows and check. <laughs> we, I'm in the middle of a thunderstorm here, but I thought I should record my voiceover anyway, but um, I'm safe. It's just loud. So if you hear any rumblings, um, it's not you. It's, it's me. <laughs> oh, okay. So my squirrels, which are <laughs> so adorable, I decided to color them gray because there was already going to be so much brown with the acorns and then I'm going to put a tree on my card. So I wanted them to stand out. So I did gray and I'm only doing two different markers of gray. And what I'm doing, you can see I colored that first squirrel with the dark gray and then used the light gray to pull it out, used a little bit of water, and then I let it dry for a little bit. And then I went back with the same two colors and added some shading. And that's how I colored all of the squirrels. So I'm not going to show you everything because that's boring. But now I'm going to show you how I die cut everything with the center picture window. It's all die cut, all out of white. And we're going to add color. Well, all out of white except for the banner. Fine, you got me. <laughs> and then I cut some puffy leaves. I mean, some puffy clouds I'm going to use as the tree canopy as well. And we're going to do some ink blending. Okay, so I did mention I was going to make this fall. So I'm using Distress Oxides with Abandoned Coral and Dried Marigold. And 
these oxides ink blend so smoothly <laughs> and so quickly. So it really took no time at all. I just did a tiny bit of the abandoned coral up top and some dried marigold on the bottom. And I did, I have three separate panels. I actually have five, <laughs> but I have three separate panels uh, for the inside of my card. And um, then after it was ink blended, I am smushing dried marigold, abandoned coral, pit, picked raspberry, and tattered rose, and adding water with a water brush and um, splattering it all over my tree canopies to make it look like, um, you know, leaves and, and fun fall time. Plus, I love splattering, you know, and I don't splatter anywhere else on my card. So, I mean, that that's restraint. <laughs> Uh, anyway, like I said, I have two other of these that I didn't show um, that I'm using for the front and back of my card, but um, this is the same exact process. So um, now we're going to, what are we going to do now? Ink blend the tree part of my card. There we go. The actual center picture window that opens and is 3D. And I'm using Distress Inks again, uh, Vintage Photo and Fossilized Amber. Again, super quick ink blending because I'm going to be cutting most of that part out, but I did want to lay some color down and then I'm going to stamp my wood grain backdrops. And I'm thinking, I don't have an acrylic block big enough for this. So I use the Misty <laughs> and I'm using walnut stain to stamp it. Um, and I really like that, how that looks. So, um, Yeah, I'm just going to stamp my image, rub it, rub it down, flip it over, uh, clean it, and then I'm going to line it back up and stamp it again, same color, and then I will um, have that little tree part done. See how much fun that adds? I love that look. <laughs> um, I am using the oval from the center picture window die set, and I'm lining it up right there. <laughs> with the little parallel lines of the circle, I'm lining up with the folded part of my picture window part. And now I am, I switch a lot. I go back and forth. So I'm going to ink blend the inside of my card. I'm using Distress Oxides and Blueprint Sketch and Mermaid Lagoon and Salvage Patina. And also, I'm going to be using Vintage Photo and Fossilized Amber in the center, again, for the inside of the tree. I didn't want it to be a sky inside the tree. That would be silly. So I left um, that part in the middle, and I'm just um, going to use those same colors. And again, super quick ink blending. It doesn't have to be perfect. Much of it will be covered up, and the rest of it will be inside. And if anybody gives you, you give this card to anybody, and they say, well, that ink blending looks smudgy inside your 3D card, then you send them to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm also adding the same colors to the um, little ledges or tree branches that are going to be inside my tree. And I am kind of showing you how I'm going to have the tree canopy look above the tree. And I'm attaching it with washi tape. And then I'm using this little T from the die set to add a folded part so it will easily fold. I ran it through my dye machine and I'm taking off the excess parts, um, you know, that, that it's too big. And I'm just folding everything over with my folder, my bone folder, and then trimming the excess on the edges and adding a little bit of glue so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then I can remove that washi tape from the back. And that's gonna be the front part of the tree. But, but wait, there's more. <laughs> the tree canopy is going to be the whole inside of the card. Don't worry, you'll see. Um, so I'm just showing you how I'm folding. I'm just going to slow it down and show you how I fold all of the tabs on my 3D mechanism parts. Fold the front sides in on all of them. I also fold them down the middle. There's score lines that uh, show up when you die cut your pieces. And I am using the tree part that I made using my pencil to mark off where it's going to be. And I want the tree canopy to look seamless. So I'm trying to uh, line it up with the extra tree canopies that I had colored and ink blended earlier. And once I have it lined up where I want, I just had a little tape to hold it in place, trim off where I had marked with my pencil. 
and then do the same thing on the other side. And it's not super seamless <laughs> as far as like how to explain it to you. Um, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty, but it gets the job done. That's kind of how it was. <laughs> so again, I'm just adding a little bit of tape to hold it down, trimming off the extra under the tree because I don't want the tree canopy to be inside the oval. And then I'm just going to trim off the rest on the extra part. And now we're going to attach the all the parts, all the parts to the inside. I'm folding the main card in the middle and I'm adding tape to all of the outside edges of my 3D parts. So the big tree, the small tree branches, and that's it, <laughs> the small tree, the big tree and the small tree branches. I'm gonna take off the right side, line it up and press it down with my bone folder. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my tree branches. And it's so easy to line up because everything has that score mark in the middle. And I am just lining up the score mark and everything's perfect. <laughs> See, all perfect. And then you want to remove the tape from the left side of your 3D parts, fold everything over and make sure the part that has your adhesive is up and close your card like you normally would close a card. Rub it real good so it all sticks and voila, you have the 3D part and it's so fun and it's such a big wow. <laughs> I love it. Okay, the hard part's done guys. Now we're just gonna do the front and back which I like to include a little bit of what's going on in the scene inside the card when I have a card like this. So I'm using the same colors I did for the sky. Um, Blueprint sketch, Mermaid Lagoon, and Salvage Patina. And the tree canopy that I had made earlier, I'm just attaching it. Um, that's going to be the front one, and then that one will be the back, and trimming off the extra. All that beautiful ink blending. Say la vie. <laughs> and now I am just going to heat emboss on my banner for the inside of the card. Um, Hello Friend from the Let's Go Nuts stamp set. And this is the fun part. I am attaching everything. Look at all those fun pieces. I am attaching things all inside on all the levels of this 3D tree. Um, I have that little squirrel on the outside, a sleeping squirrel with his acorns on that first tree branch, quote unquote. And then I'm also using some acetate and adding my leaves on the acetate and attaching that to the tree branches so it looks like, you know, the leaves are falling, adds a little bit of fun. I think it's so fun. I'm attaching that other squirrel. I'm attaching a little acorn in the front. And I'm also going to attach all the leaves. <laughs> I love that little squirrel sitting. I gave him a little acorn because I love him. <laughs> uh, the... Leaves were added just randomly. I wanted, you know, I didn't really want the same colors or the same styles next to each other, but I wasn't picky because it was just, you know, a fun element. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should add the banner. <laughs> so I added the banner, easy peasy, no problem. And now I'm going to text my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, but now I am going to do the front and the back and I'm just stamping let's go nuts on the front and that little squirrel who's leaping um, to the right, he's going to be on the front of the card so he can't wait to, to get in that tree and I'm adding just acorns. I'm using my super fancy pokey tool, aka skewer, <laughs> to move around those small acorns. And then the back of the card, I'm only adding a few leaves and a happy little squirrel um, because that's where you can write your message for this card. And I'm just going to attach those to the front and the backs of my card. And the card's done. Not so hard, is it? I mean, it's intimidating at first, but it's not. Look how fun this card is. I love the squirrel family. They are so excited. I love the falling leaves and the 3D effect through that tree. And the little place for your message. Thanks so much for joining me and be sure to check out this card on the Lawn Fawn blog. Thank you. Bye.